Over the past couple years, many have been redefining their brand image, starting with the latest generation of hot hatches, and this year they're taking it another step farther with the all new Mini Clubman. However, is it any good? So, confession time. I never really liked the previous Clubman. I didn't like the way it looked with the rear end. I didn't like the single rear suicide door. It just, it felt like it was trying too hard to be practical, yet still be tiny, and that just wasn't a good combination for me. But I think this car has all the makings to change that. This is a very important car for Mini, and it's important for two main reasons. I'm gonna talk about the practicality and whatnot later on, but the first reason is that with this new brand design, they sort of restyled the interior. Subtly, like there's a new passenger side dash area, there's no more secret compartment. They've restyled the center console, moved the buttons down, made the whole interior just a little more refined. And especially with the seats, these are electric powered seats, which I believe is a first for many. So you can really tell that they're trying to be more grown up, more refined as I've said, but they still know how to have fun. And I really like that because it's a good combination of both. The only downside to the interior, and it's not really the interior, but it's the rear visibility because of the split tailgate and the bar right down the middle and the small windows, rear visibility is not fantastic. But, and there's several blind spots, but other than that, honestly, I like it a lot. Second most important is, does it still drive like a Mini? For the most part, yes. Despite the extra weight you can only feel when really pushing it, and the steering lacking Mini's usual feedback, it drives like the five door, your typical hot hatch. However, practicality is one of the main appeals of this car. So can its size translate into usable space? In a word, yes. It's a noticeable step up from the previous Clubman and even the current five doors. The back seats have reasonable room even for people who aren't below the knee amputees. Thankfully, the single rear suicide door has been replaced by two conventional doors, revolutionary. Consider this then a more usable mini five door. Speaking of which, Steve, Steve, hang on, Steve. Okay, wait, wait. You're doing a review in a five-door Mini? This is the one you should be doing. You know, I've reviewed that already, right? Yeah, I know, but it doesn't matter. It's a good car. So is this, and it's more usable, got more space, and it's still a gem to drive. I know, but the, the, this, this is the five-door Mini. So is this. Uh, it's got the 1.3-liter engine. Exact same. Three cylinders. Same. And it's a hot hatch. So is this. Yeah, but you got the doors, what's, uh, it's extra weight. Yeah, but, as we just mentioned, I've driven both. I'm actually not so sure that that one's gonna be faster. Oh, it's gonna be a lot faster. I don't think so. Well, what? I have an idea. All right, Tom, so my idea is... Steve, Steve, Steve! What are we doing on a frozen lake, man? It's okay, the ice is two feet deep, we're fine. What's that? The ice is two feet deep, we're totally fine. Okay, so what are we doing out here on a frozen lake? Well, we're here, so why don't we drive on it? There's a, ah. yeah, there's a two kilometer track out there. So I'm thinking, which one of these cars is the fastest, is the winner. So you're gonna apply science. See who's fastest on the ice? I like it. Exact science, it's gotta be thorough. Okay. So, how do we decide who's gonna go first? Rock, paper, scissors? Okay. okay. No, I'm going first. Jesus. <laughs> Two kilometers of pure ice and snow heaven. But which of the cars will be the fastest? The like Lion Five Door or the heavier Clubman Newcomer? Two, one.
And it's just not happening. This car does not want to go out. Where I want to put it. Put it in sport mode. This cannot look fast from out there. This just can't. Come on. Come on, little Clubman. Come on! Yes! It was fun. That was, that was, that was pretty hairy because I mean, th these vehicles are very light and uh, it was almost like riding the plastic toboggan, the cheap ones that you get from the store, you know? Yeah, and every time you turn into a corner, you'd lose traction on the front end. That's right. But then you'd lose traction on the rear end and just gain traction again on the front. Just, just bit right before you went off the track. I don't think I went off the track once. I don't believe you went off the track. No, a lot of lift off oversteer though, but that's fun. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, now. So yeah, here we are, the crux of the matter. What we came here to do the lap times. You went first. That's right. So your time is three minutes, 40 seconds. Oh, get in. 0.74. That's, That's pretty fast. Yeah, I'm really curious. Your here. time in this disgustingly heavy beast of a machine, three minutes, 37 seconds. Oh, yes. What a bit quicker. Congratulations. Oh, yes. Interesting point, though. The Clubman wins with the lap time, but which would you rather have? Well, we did drive both of them off the camera. Um, and I, I have to say for a four door, I'm going to pick the cargo space of the, Clor uh, the Clubman, sorry. Um, it's got the barn doors on it, which I usually do like in an SUV, but I feel in a car this small, it does create quite a bit of a blind spot. So, but my pick will be the Clubman. How about yourself? It was tough because before this review, it would have been the five door right. because I hadn't driven the Clubman and I had sort of the prejudice about it. But one quick side note is I never in the, in the five door, sorry, longed for the power of the Cooper S as much as I did in the Clubman. However, the Clubman just felt a little more special to me. It felt a little more of a, uh, a usable car. So, surprisingly enough, I'm gonna take the Clubman. So the Clubman wins our hearts and the time. Absolutely. So, well, there you have it. The Mini Clubman is the winner. Thank you so much for watching. We're really excited to be back on the TiVo show for season two. We have so much more exciting co content coming up in the near future. So be sure to stay tuned for that and check us out online at Project 7 Productions Dot com where you can find our links to social media pages, behind the scenes videos and photos and everything. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers.